Yo viewers, today we will be changing out the hard drive on this 2011 15 inch MacBook Pro. I'm going to be putting in a solid state drive. This is not really a reputable one, but this is the one that I have on hand, so we're going to use it. And it's a shame that, that uh, Apple and Microsoft is doing this too. The newer operating systems, which I don't really care for, that they are putting out are not written very well and the I.O. on the drive is outrageous and so you really can't get by with a spinning hard drive anymore and a lot of these old, uh, older physical machines if you want to run the newer software, which is a shame because you know in this case this machine is only nine years old and it has been obsoleted because of the hard drive so anyways this still uses a Phillips bit to get these out and this is really the last Apple machine I think, I think these are made in 2012 as well these are the last Apple machines that I really have any amount of respect for because these at least were very durable and they're pretty powerful and they were made in such a way that they're somewhat user serviceable you know anybody with a Phillips screwdriver could go in here and change the battery or add some more memory or change out the drive like we're going to do in this case after these they moved on to the the retina ones and the design just it's not user serviceable. You can't change out any of the components, and when something quits, you got a problem. So, with all these screws removed, we'll be able to pull the back cover off. And reveal the inside. Still have a CD drive in this machine. You have the battery, which is again removable with. Oh, actually, the battery is not removable with a Phillips screwdriver. It's removable by some kind of crazy bit that most people don't have. I don't even know if I have one. Huh. I don't think I have one of those. Cheese. Well, I guess I have to retract some of my commentary about respecting this computer because that is ridiculous. That is completely and totally ridiculous. Well, anyways, the battery is still good, so hopefully. Warning: Do not remove the battery. Yeah, okay. What about when it quits? Okay, so the drive. It's over here. It's a Seagate or OceanGate drive. I'm kind of surprised it still works. These drives are not the greatest. And I would guess it's only a 5400. Which on the older systems was perfectly fine back when there was some quality put into the coating of it. This drive is 5400. So the only thing we have to do to make this fit in here is we have to remove these studs from the side which are going to require, it looks like a hex bit. I'm going to say maybe this one. That's a star bit. It's the right size, but wrong number of points. There we go. So we'll remove these.
and then we're going to screw them into the new drive. And this is somewhat difficult because they're so small. Okay, now I'll plug this back in. Screw this back down. And these fans are kind of dusty. Probably should clean these out. I don't really want to get into that right now. But there's enough dust in there that I think the air compressor won't get it out. So. We're going to need another kind of hex bit here. Oh, the same coin. And then we'll lift the fan up and we'll undo the dust clogs that's in there. Okay, and there's some residual dust in there still, but that will come out with a good blast of compressed there. And we're going to do this side as well. Okay, now we're ready to close it back up. The three longest screws go on the top right. One, two, and three. And the rest are all the same size. Now I believe there is some torquing pattern that you're supposed to use to screw this on. Uh, I can't be bothered with that. Maybe that's only on the new ones, I don't know.
Okay, that concludes the hard drive changeout.